Happy Stamptember everyone. At uh, Simon Says Stamp we are celebrating a whole month dedicated to stamping with uh, new releases, giveaways and lots and lots of inspiration. So I will be creating three cards today using the same die. This is the die that I will be using, the party one. It is from the new release and I will be showing you three different ways to use it just to give you some uh, ideas. So first of all, I am uh, going to use one of uh, the pattern papers that come in this uh, pattern paper pad. I have uh, chosen to go with pink, but uh, this uh, particular design is super easy to recreate. So you can use any pattern paper at this uh, stage. So first of all, I am going to cut out a panel. This is a, a rectangle die, which is also by Simon Says Stamp, and it has a nice stitching. And I'm going to place the party die inside. The first uh, thing that comes in uh, your mind when you see such a die is to create a shaker card, of course. So I am going to create a shaker card for you, which is uh, quick and easy to do. And uh, you can make part invitations in uh, no time. Uh, you can use any pattern paper that you have at home or uh, to match the theme of your party. And uh, of course, you can use any sequence uh, that uh, you like. So I am uh, placing uh, some adhesive at the back and I'm going to stick the acetate at the back of um, the pattern paper so I can create my window. As always you can find all the supplies that I'm using today for all three cards just below in the details area as well as on my blog. So I'm using my scissors to cut out all uh, the excess acetate and once my window was ready I used my die cutting machine to uh, die cut out of uh, white cardstock the party Word. Now I am uh, making sure that uh, I separate it uh, carefully. It is uh, nicely cut out but uh, I need to poke out all those little uh, areas. So I am going to stick it just inside that uh, big hole. Now I am going to use some uh, matte medium at the back and I have uh, put matte medium inside this uh, fine tip applicator which uh, makes uh, my job uh, really easy. So I am going to use my tweezers and uh, place it right inside that hole and on top of uh, the acetate. I am going to use my big roll of uh, foam adhesive at the back and I am going to create a wall all around that window. So when I am uh, going to add the sequins inside, this is going to make sure that they will not go anywhere when I shake the card. For the inside of my window, I have decided to go with pink uh, sequins and I'm also going to add some silver ones as well as uh, add a little bit of glitter at the end. I think I'm, I will be using uh, pink glitter. Now I love adding glitter inside because it adds an extra shimmer and uh, I really like the outcome. So I will go ahead and add a little bit of uh, that glitter in there. And then all that's left to do is to cover up the background. So for my background I have this piece of uh, scrap paper and you see that it already has a hole but uh, that really doesn't matter. I am going to use some tape adhesive and then stick uh, this uh, window on top of my card base. For my card base today I'm using some uh, standard top folding card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. So that is the first card, it's super simple and uh, I think uh, this die really is made for this type of cards. So let's go ahead and uh, make a second card. You will find uh, close-up photos of the first card at the end of this video. For the second card I'm going for a more elegant uh, themed card. So first of all I have cut out three uh, party die cuts out of this die and I'm using uh, on uh, one of them a uh, Versa marking. So I'm going to make sure that I cover up the whole party world and uh, then I'm going to do some embossing. For my embossing I have decided to go with uh, Platinum by Ranger and uh, I really love this uh, silver uh, embossing powder. I am going to make sure that I cover up the whole uh, world uh, party, but I will not pay any attention to the ring all around. You really need to make the most out of your supplies, so I am going to show you how you can use this tie without the ring. You just uh, cut it out and uh, you keep only the world party. 
And by doing so, you only have the word, so this open up a whole uh, new window to, uh, to more ideas. So, as you can see, I'm using my scissors to separate it from the ring all around. And uh, first of all, I'm going to make uh, the separation, but you will see that at the end, I will be using my scissors to round up the edges of uh, the word. You'll see what I mean in a bit. Now that I have all of those three words separated, I am going to use my uh, glue and I'm going to stick one on top of the other. So this is going to make uh, a final party word that is uh, nice and uh, stable and uh, it's quite thick so it is going to be a nice element for the focal point of my card. I am going to stick uh, the one that is embossed on top and as you can see I am using some uh, glue pen. This is nice because uh, I can uh, have a few uh, seconds to move the die cuts on top of each other until I am sure that uh, they are nicely stacked. And uh, now I can uh, use my scissors and just because this is too thick I will be using my Tim Holtz scissors to round up the edges. This is where I separated uh, the word from uh, the ring so I need to make this uh, look uh, nice and uh, finished. For my card I will be using a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I decided to go with that pattern paper which is nice and elegant. So for the card base I am uh, going to go around the edges with my Versa marking and uh, this is because I want to do some uh, embossing at uh, the edges. As you can see I wasn't very neat because uh, this is not going to show, just only a little border around the edges is going to show once I stick down the pattern paper. So uh, for the sentiment I can go with birthday party or I can go with uh, crazy party or uh, best party ever. You can uh, just uh, be creative uh, by using uh, the stamps that you already have. So for my card today I decided to go with anniversary so I'm going to stick to stamp anniversary party and this can be a nice and elegant card for an anniversary. This is again a quick and easy design and uh, of course you don't have to stack up uh, the party dies one on top of the other to make it quicker. And of course you can uh, change the colors, the pattern paper and you have a whole new card with the same design depending on uh, your needs for the party invitation. I am embossing the word anniversary on a piece of vellum as you can see and I have used the same embossing powder as I did on uh, the party die cut. So I am going to place it uh, there, I decide where I want this to go and now I can um, stick uh, the word party on top of the vellum. To stick it down I am using my glue pen and I want to place it uh, in such a way so I have a nice uh, nesting of the word anniversary between uh, the word party. And now I can place it on top of my panel and uh, this is a slightly smaller than my card base and I can fold uh, the vellum at the back. I always believe that uh, adding vellum on a card really gives it a touch of elegance. So I think for an anniversary card is a must. And uh, now that I have folded uh, my vellum I can uh, use some uh, tape adhesive at the back and secure the vellum in place. To stick this panel on top of my card base I will be using some foam tape to add uh, a little bit of dimension. But of course if you are recreating this uh, card and uh, mass producing it as a party invitation you can just use your tape adhesive to stick it down since it's quicker and much cheaper. And now you can see the silver border that uh, perfectly matches my card. So let's go to card 3. You can uh, see uh, close up photos of card 2 at the end of the video. For the third card I'm going for with something uh, really fun and colorful. So first of all I'm going to use this uh, Simon Says stamp uh, stencil that has nice uh, polka dots and I am going to apply some uh, glass bead glitter. This is a product by Faber Castell. You can apply it over a stencil with uh, your spatula as I'm doing here. I am applying a generous amount with my spatula because I want to have a nice dimension when this dries it gives you a really nice texture of uh, glass beads and uh, those glass beads uh, sparkle when you move the card and uh, they also give uh, a beautiful texture that you want to touch it all the time. So anyway I am going to move this aside to dry and I am going to put back all that uh, medium that's left on the stencil and on my craft mat. 
and I am going to go and wash it at the moment because uh, if this uh, dries on top of my stencil it's going to ruin it. Now this is the outcome, I have left it uh, to dry for about half an hour and I really love the outcome, I don't know if you can see the sparkle so this is going to be my panel and uh, I am going to stick uh, there the word party which I have die cut with uh, the die as well as those three balloons that I have uh, used a die by Simon Says Stamp from an older release. I have used uh, Simon Says Stamp cardstock for all my die cuts, both the balloons and uh, the party die cut. And uh, just like I did on uh, card 2, I have used my scissors to cut out the ring that was all around the word uh, party. I am using uh, my glue pen at the back and I'm going to stick it towards the bottom of my panel. This design is also quick and easy to mass produce and uh, especially if you do everything in steps. So first you do all your panels with uh, the stenciling, then you do all the, your die cutting and then uh, you do this phase which is the assembly. I am going to do, add some uh, foam squares at the back of the balloons and I'm going to s decide where I'm going to place them. And for the strings of the balloons I will be using my thread and needle and I'm going to tie them from the word uh, party. First I'm um, going to make some holes so that I know where my needle is going to go and uh, now I can add the strings of the balloons. Now that I have all the strings in place, I am going to add uh, some tape adhesive to secure them at the back and I can place the balloons on top. I am going to stick uh, two balloons, one's clo one close to the other, uh, overlapping each other. And uh, the other one I'm going to add it uh, going outside of uh, this panel. I always like to do this because they give a nice interesting uh, effect. So now that my main panel is ready, I am going to add some uh, glitter with my clear Wink of Stella glitter pen because I watched a party invitation without some glitter. So I went over uh, my party ward as well as the balloons and I hope you can see the shimmer at the moment. And this is the panel which I am going to stick on uh, a top folding card. This is a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I have created it out of red cardstock by Simon Says Stamp. I am using my tape runner at the back of my panel and I'm going to stick it at the center of the card. And here are all three cards that I made today. I hope I gave you some ideas on how you can use this die to create uh, simple party invitations for any occasion. So here are some close-up photos of the three cards that I made for you today. So I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button because this is the way to tell me that you love my videos and you want to see more. For more inspiration you can click any of the videos on screen right now. If you are watching from a mobile device, you can find links to those videos just below in the details area. Or you can click on the info card that just popped up on your screen right now. Thank you all for watching!